Hello and welcome again. So this is the fourth part of the random numbers in Java. And we are still talking about the object, the object random here. Um, and so I'm going to explain, uh, recall what we just did, right? So we took uh, um, an object that I call my random in this particular case, we created with this line of code. And so we had this object here called my random that produces a lot of things, integers, um, longs, doubles, booleans, and so on and so forth. Now, my this object that you have here can also produce what we call streams. Now, streams is a new feature of the Java Java Eight, and basically what it is is you create streams, what the name says, streams, and we'll use it a little bit maybe in the class in some some examples, and it creates the streams of integers, doubles, and longs, and sometimes that's very useful because it allows us to sometimes uh, get rid of the for loops. Um, if 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 it's possible, so let's go into the details then. So so let's say for example we're gonna create a list of random integers. And sometimes that's actually useful because what you want most of the time is to create a list of the random things. So let's say we're gonna create a list. So to do that, we will do it in two ways. One way will be using the for loop, which is the normal way. We do it before Java 8, you use a for loop to create a list. That's one way to do it. Or just assign num the elements one by one. Or we can also use a cre uh, doing the, creating that list of random numbers using the streams. So let's look at the first way. So how do we go about creating a list of certain random integers? Now before that, we have to ma um, make a decision about how many we're going to create or how long that list will be. Um, but before that, let's say, for example, we want to create the list. And to do that, I need to create a type of uh, a variable of type list. So I can store my my random numbers in there. And let's say this is a list of integers. So I'm going to use here another color to write down how you write down the code in, in Java to create a list. So what you do is you say a list with capital S, list, this triangular our braces that I have here, and you say the type there of the variable. So we're gonna create a list of integers, and you say integer there, similar to how you create an object, and and then after that you put the name of your list, whatever you wanna name your list. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna say, for example, in this case, I say my list. Now over there, in here, you can put whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want, as long as you follow the conventions of the Java naming of variables. So that's whatever you want to put in there. And as we did with the creation of objects, you say that is equal to new, and then you say array, array list. And you have to say the type again, uh, that's an integer. And then you close the braces, parentheses, and semicolon there. So that basically, that line of code, what it did there, it just created the list. I'm going to hold integers, basically. It's a list of integers. Now, once I create that list of integers, I need to populate that list. And we're going to do it in two ways. We're going to do it with the for loop, and we're going to do it with streams. And the integers are going to be, of course, random generated, right? So let's say, for example, we're going to do it for, for the loop. So we use the loop now, in this case. Let me change here to white. So using, we're going to use a for loop. For loop. To do that, to, to populate that list. So as always, you're going to start the same way as you start with a loop. Let's say, you're going to say, okay, four parentheses, and you're going to initialize your counter, and you can initialize it at zero or at one. It doesn't matter, or whatever number you want. And I'm going to say, let's say we're going to create, let's say, 10 numbers. So I'm going to uh, make my i less than 10, because that's going to create 10. So 0 through 9, basically. And so that's 10 numbers right there. And then I have to increase my variable by 1. So that goes with the loop. So i++. plus plus, And then I close that the parentheses. So as you recall there from the Java, uh, tutorials, then what you do is this, and then you open and close the curly braces, and this is what how we're going to populate that list. So what do we want to do? We want to add elements to that list, that the list that is here, 
add the pseudo random numbers over there. So what we do is, okay, we're gonna use the name of our list, whatever you name your list. I call mine my list, and I'm gonna add elements there. So this is gonna be a for loop. So it's gonna say, let's say my list. Let me use the white color there. My list. And to add elements to any list, what you do is you put the name the name of your list, whatever that name might be, and you said that add. So that means you're gonna add elements to it. And what we're gonna add there is a random integer. So because we want to add a random integer, so let's put the code to add in random integers there. What basically it is, I have to have an object of the class random to produce those integers. And remember that object was called my random. You can call it whatever you want again, as long as you define it first. So that was my random. Uh, that next int, because that's what the, is going to produce uh, the integer. Next int, parenthesis, and I close that parenthesis and say my column. And that's it. So we just created a list of uh, 10 pseudo-random pseudo numbers, pseudo-random integers there. Uh, the, the type here should match the type of your list. Otherwise, uh, Clips will complain and they will say that something is wrong. So just make sure that whatever you put in here, uh, the type here corresponds to the type of your list. So in this case, our type is the integers, so we're okay there. So if we run this program, we will see that we created a list of tons of random numbers in Java. So I'm gonna go to the Eclipse application and see how that works. So I, I'm here back in the Eclipse application, and as you can see there, I define my list the way the same way I did it in the video. So list integer my list equal to new array list integer and all that. So that's all how I define my list. So I need to populate it. And then the one the code below, the one that you see there, is the for loop I was talking about in the video. I put a 200 there uh, because uh, if I just leave it like this, I mean that's still gonna give me a list of integers. And because it's going to be an integer, you probably won't be able to see the whole thing when I run it. But let's do it in this case. So, so we're going to run that. Um, before I forget, I have to mention here that when you create a list, you have to add or import two things. You have to uh, import utilities list and also import utilities array list. So those couple of things you have to import to be able to create that list of integers there. So, so once that's done, you import it, you define your list in Java, you run your for loop, and the, the for loop, once you run it, uh, and of course I'm gonna print it out, as always, so to be able to see what that list looks like. So once I run this, of course, then it's gonna uh, give me the list of integers, so let's run it. Yeah. And as you can see, you can see the list there. I mean, it's not uh, complete here, because, okay, I can show you the last part. It's a list of 10 here, 10 pseudo-random integers. Now remember what you can do here is in my random that next int you can, inside that parenthesis over there you can put a number and it's going to be the upper bound of your integers. So for example, if I want to have a list of tens of the random numbers, let's say uh, between zero and twenty, so I put a twenty there, so you can see it better. So it's going to generate through the random numbers between zero and nineteen, inclusive nineteen, or you can say zero and twenty exclusive of 20. So if I run it here, then you can see there, I'll have 10 uh, integers, uh, all of them between 0 and 19. And of course, every time I run it, then it's going to be different, of course. Uh, and so that's that's how it works. Uh, that's how you do it with the for loop. The other way to do it is without going through the for loop and using the streams in Java, which is the other way to create a list in Java. So I'm going to go back to writing and I'll show you more or less how how that works and then we'll come back again to the uh, Eclipse application. So we saw in the Eclipse application, uh, this is the way that you generate uh, a list of pseudo-random numbers by just doing a for loop. So basically what you do is you take the name of your list, you keep adding numbers one by one. So you add numbers here. Now you can put anything here. Uh, the only reason we're doing this one is because we are gen you are adding sort of random integers to that list. Now, the other way that you can actually create a list of pseudo-random numbers is by using streams. 
And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is you're not gonna you're not gonna use a for loop. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a new um, feature of Java 8 that's gonna allow us to do these kinds of things without having to go through the for loop. So what do we how do we do it? The first thing you do is you put the name of your list, whatever that name might be, in that in my case is called my list. And I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this is gonna be equal. You see, I'm not gonna use a for loop at all here. I'm gonna say just equal. I'm gonna use my object to generate random integers. And in my case, it's called my object. In your case, it might be called something else. I'm just gonna write down the name of my object, which is my random. And then this is where the stream is gonna come from. And I think this is very useful. I think in my case to avoid I prefer to do this than doing for loops, actually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a stream of pseudo random integers, and I'm going to put them in that list. So after that, what you do is say dot, and then you just say int, just like that, I-N-T-S. And this int here is going to take three inputs. The first number uh, that is right here, this number, is going to be the number of integers that you want from this over here from this my random so how many do we want so we said we wanted 10 you can put a hundred there 200 whatever you want so i'm gonna have a 10 the one we were doing that's the example what are these other two numbers that you put in here these other two numbers is the first one here is the lower bound and this one is the upper bound of the numbers that you want so for example in our case we want it to create uh, pseudo random integers between zero inclusive and 10 exclusive. So the only thing I have to do here is just put a zero there, a 10 there, and I'm done. That's it, it's that simple. I mean, this is what I created here is just a stream. So this is just saying, what it's saying basically is, okay, my object random is saying, from my object random, create for me a stream of integers how many? 10 of them. And those integers should be between 0 inclusive and 10 exclusive. And that's done. Now, of course, if you put this in Java, Java is going to complain and it's going to say something that is an error. And yes, it is an error because uh, this is a list here. And what you have here is a stream. What you need to do now is you need to convert this back into a list of integers. So what you're gonna do to convert it, I mean, this is already created for you, a stream of 10 pseudo random integers between zero inclusive and 10 exclusive. The next code that I'm gonna write down is just something you have to do to convert it to a list. So what you do is something like this. You put, I'm gonna write it down here, so dot. You can put in the same line though, the same line. So I'm gonna say box and that's with lowercase. Just, just over here, boxed. Parenthesis, and then below that, just right after, I'm, you put another dot. And because I don't have no space here to write down, I'm going to say dot here, and I'm going to say collect. And then collectors, and that collectors, that C that you see there is uppercase. Collectors, that to list. Okay, that looks like a lot to write, but the last two lines that I put over there, this line here and this line over here, the only do thing that these are, these are doing is taking this stream and converting that into a, into a list. And that's it. You don't have to use a for loop. You don't have to initialize any variables. You don't have to run through the list. Just write down of that and that's going to create a list of 10 pseudo random integers between 0 inclu in inclusive and 10 exclusive. So I'm going to actually show you exactly what I just wrote down over here, exactly that. I'm going to show you that in Java, and I'll explain how you actually do that. You have to import one library to be able to do this. So I'll show you this in the Eclipse application. So I'm back here in the Eclipse application, and as you can see there, uh, the code that I was writing down is exactly what you have there. Uh, the dots are aligned in that case. It doesn't have to be. I just prefer to do it like that. And so what happens there is, it's exactly the same. So you have uh, a stream that is gonna be a stream of integers, 
10 of them between 0 inclusive and 10 exclusive and of course to be able to do that you have to import uh, a library and the library is right up there the library is uh, java that utilities stream then collectors and and that's it that's all you have to do you don't have to use a for loop for this so i'm going to show you what's going to happen if you actually run you run this in here in the eclipse application so let me save it and i'm going to run it here and as you can see there i have 10 pseudo random integers between 0 inclusive and 10 exclusive uh, let me close that i'll show you again how it works so and that's it i got my 0 there in, in my 9 so so that's another way to do it without doing the for loop now which one you do uh it's up to you it's your preference i personally think that this is much cleaner and i don't have to uh, create more variables to do any for loops or anything like that so as, as i'm happy that i don't have to use for loops for this anymore i can use uh, streams to do it like this so so that's basically all I actually want to say about the random uh, library, the random things to create uh, random objects. Now, this is not over yet. Uh, what happens here is the next, this is the second uh, way to create random uh, numbers or booleans. There is a third way, and the third way is the crypto cryptographic application of random uh, generators. So basically what it is is, pseudo random number generators that are cryptographically secure and that's the next thing we're going to do now that's not going to take too much time and the reason for that is because it's going to behave exactly the same way as random behaves in this particular case so i'll show you that in the next uh, video